In the calibration procedure, the patient is asked to switch their gaze between the two dots that appear when calibration is performed. As the patient's gaze switches, the system tracks the movement of the pupil. When the patient cannot be calibrated because they cannot see the dots, click Default to use the calibration default values. The calibration values are used to analyze eye movement during the impulse testing. During this procedure, both lasers will turn on. Do not look directly at the lasers. Click Run to start the calibration. You will ask the patient to hold the head still, ask the patient to look right at the right laser beam dot, ask the patient to look left at the left laser dot, then ask the patient to look right and look left. So we're going to click Run. The calibrations are automatically saved. Ask the patient to stare at the fixation dot. Slowly move the patient head left and right about 10 degrees each direction. The head and eye trace should be overlaid. If not, redo calibration or check the patient history. If the person has to make catch-up saccades during low-frequency head rotations, it can indicate either vestibular loss or cerebellar dysfunctions or both. If calibration is good, click Accept. The window for all other tests outside of V-HIT looks a little bit different for calibration. You will see on the screen though you still have the real-time traces up top, the green is the eye and the orange is the head. When you perform the calibration, you will see your real-time traces in the window showing you that calibration is taking place. So otherwise the procedure is exactly the same.